every relationship drifts into a slump from time to time. But what makes it strong is its ability to get out of a relationship slump and back on track. Yes, the relationship slump. You never think it's going to happen to you until one day you wake up and bam, there it is. Hello, my name is Lauren Richards, welcome to How to Make Relationship Work YouTube channel where we give you all the valuable information you need to take your relationship to the next level. Subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss any of my video. This isn't anything to worry about, you don't need to break up with your partner this very minute. If anything, it's a wake-up call for you and your partner to re-evaluate the relationship and get back on track. I am here to share with you everything you need to know about getting out of your relationship slump and back to enjoying the pleasures of being in a relationship. Number 1. Do activities your partner enjoys. Do things your partner enjoy doing. If they are big on kayaking, grab a paddle and spend the day paddling around. It's important you show them support in what they love doing. Number 2. Go down memory lane. Where was your first kiss or the first time you said I love you? Revisit the places where you shared positive memories, and look at the good moments you shared together. It will show you why you are together. Number 3. Get spicy in bed. Try role play or be intimate in public. Explore each other's sexuality and have fun. Talk to your partner beforehand, and see if there's something new they would like to try in bed. Number 4. Work on affection. By being affectionate, it increases oxytocin, which is the hormone for intimacy and love. Hold hands, give each other kisses, and caress each other while watching a movie. It will work, trust me. Number 5. Weekly date nights are a must. This doesn't mean Netflix and chill, that's not a date night. Cook dinner together, rent a hotel room for the night, or spend an evening watching the sunset. Leave the television, leave Netflix, and leave your phone. This is the time for you and your partner to reconnect. Number 6. Evaluate the relationship. If you are doing everything you can, and still nothing is changing, perhaps you should look at the relationship and see if it's really for you. It may be time for you to move on. Conclusion being in a relationship slump is going to happen at some point in your relationship. What's important is how you work together to get back into a healthy space. Thank you very much for watching my videos. My team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next.